Hello, it's Eno. Today, I would like to talk about the theme, New Era of Global Trade, Restructuring Supply Chains. Companies are restructuring their supply chains, for a new era of global trade. Nearshoring, automation, supplier diversification, and sustainability are keywords. Earlier this year, the Global Supply Chain Stress Index, dropped to pre-corona pandemic levels, but industry experts point out that, this does not mean a return, to the traditional supply chain. Rather, they point out that, the experience during corona pandemic, and geopolitical changes are driving broader, long-term changes in the way, companies manage the flow of goods, from raw material sourcing, to manufacturing to distribution. Superficial changes include, less reliance on Asia, especially China, and the use of more automated technology, to maintain assembly lines and warehouse operations. Apple is moving its smartphone production, from China to India, and toy manufacturer Mattel is expanding, its operations in Mexico. Experts say that, there are more enduring changes, and that the key points of supply sourcing diversification, are how companies obtain raw materials and components, where they produce goods, and how they ship finished goods to consumers. It is also stated that, the post-corona supply chain is being built, to focus on localization and to produce near the regions, where companies sell their goods. That's what we call a near-shore strategy. Companies are also expanding, their supplier base around the world, moving away from single sourcing, and automating everything, from warehouse operations, to procurement decision-making. These changes are designed, to make the supply chain, more resilient to disruption. Experts say, the move away from China, to rewire the supply chain, and have multiple local supply chains, is really just beginning. Companies are still in the process, of trying to understand how this works. With regard to the risks, and rewards of this supply chain restructuring, many companies are taking a hard look, at their procurement strategies and policies, including whether goods and components are concentrated, in one country or with a single supplier. While diversifying suppliers will almost certainly cost more, companies must balance that cost, with the potential for future disruption, and the key is to find the right balance. Thus, companies are expected to build, more resilient and sustainable supply chains, and respond to the new era of global trade. It will be important to continue, to pay close attention to this trend. Working in the supply chain myself, I think it is important, to know how the North American market is moving forward. This article gave me a sense that, the move toward a near-shore strategy is beginning, to make progress. Companies are also beginning to move, their production plants to India, reducing their dependence on China. India's population is now the largest in the world, and is one of the most important positions, in the next global supply chain. Mexico's proximity to North America, is also of interest. If companies are sourcing from multiple countries, there are opportunities outside of China. Japan could possibly become a resurgent producer. This article gave me a lot to think about. I will continue to update this information.